What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Road to 1400 a month from Affiliate Marketing. Like always, we're gonna get straight into it with the stats and we're gonna start with Google Analytics and Google Search Console. So we're over on Analytics and as you can see, this week has been kind of, uh, yeah, it's gone back down again. Um, we're at about 600 views, 500 views, then 515 and yeah it's just gone down to 497 which kind of sucks but we've lost some positions they've been jumping around and things like that so it's not something that is unusual I usually get about 600 to 700 views a day so I'm looking to bump this back up I don't really know how I'm gonna do it I'm just basically gonna put out more content and um, hope for the best really i'm also working on getting a lot more links and this is actually starting to prove very successful now so i'm hoping that links will help rank my website a bit more solidly rather than just chucking everything around the search engine but we will see in the next coming months if we move over to search console as we can see we've been getting around about 400 ish clicks a day and then it's gone back down to around 300 and then back down to around 383 right now on tuesday the 2nd of march like i said with this we've been bouncing around between different positions and um yeah i mean i think i need to get links to basically solidify my positions also one thing that is bad is the ctr rate you can see i've got a 3.1 percent rate here now i need to work on that to basically bring that up to around 10 percent is what i want to try and get to so i'm going to be doing some split testing on the ezoic split testing title thing one of the guys who watches these videos popped a comment below saying i could do that so that's what i'm going to be doing over this month as well and we're going to see which titles perform the best and uh, which is basically going to be a lot more clickbaity than i have been anyway let's go on to earnings on the main affiliate we've been making a round it's the start of a month so we've been making around one to two sales a day on the first day we made three sales which was a nice lift into this current month today we haven't made anything nothing to report these commissions are kind of low in commission value which means we don't get paid a lot from them and this month i think we've banked around 15 quid so far on this one now if we go over to recruiting as you can see the start of the month has come in strong we've had about 14 dollars there 29 dollars there and then another $15. Looks like a free trial was taken out there and another free trial. So we can expect to see some more commissions come through. But that is $58 so far this month banked from Rakuten. Now what I really want to check with this affiliate is if they pay monthly. Because they pay a set fee of $15 per commission you get but it is a monthly program so i'm wondering if those monthly commissions come through or they just pay a set of 15 dollars per commission moving over to fiverr we've already had a 27 dollar commission we're still holding the top slot and we actually have a top slot for a thousand traffic search volume per month so i'm getting a lot of clicks through to this article i don't know if they're converting as much as they should be but as you can see we've had a unique click rate of 50 and 63 clicks so far five registrations and a commission as well as conversion rate of 20 percent we'll see this bounce around over the coming month but i expect to see around 100 ish dollars at the end of the month in this particular affiliate moving over to the next affiliate now this is the one that is usually grouped in a three with the other two affiliates that haven't earned any money in ages they haven't earned any money again today i've checked so i'm not going to bother reporting on them i'm just going to report this one and we've made 11 pounds so far in the month of march as you can see we got eight pound on the second and a lovely two pound 92 on my birthday yesterday which is aaa money on my b-day the next affiliate is actually a new one we're getting to report on because i've just started implementing this in a new news and software deal section on my website and i'm getting a fair few sales over on domain affiliate over here through that and I'm also getting some new sales over here as well. So as you can see, on February 18th, I got one sign up, which was worth $20. I don't know if they paid for anything. I think they literally just pay for email signups, which if they do, that'd be fucking awesome. They also pay out every two weeks. So this is a nice affiliate to have because they actually pay frequently rather than quarterly or something annoying like that and on march 4th as you can see we got eight dollars so i'm gonna do be doing some more work to promote this affiliate a bit more because i like the fact that they pay out every two weeks and they do some 
wicked deals man let's go over to the next one and this is another affiliate we are getting to report on for the first time in forever and we got four dollars and uh 54 cents it's not a lot and we have to reach a hundred dollar payout but I mean, any money is good money. Let's hope I actually reach that 100 USD uh, dollar payout because I don't really promote this one that much. Moving over to display ads, we have been getting around $3 a day recently and then $6 towards the start of the week. Now the traffic has been going down and uh, premium is kind of coming in clutch here, guys, because we would be earning around $2 on those days and we're getting an extra dollar from premium, which is very, very nice. And it just boosts the earnings up a little bit more. I did actually have that premium call with Azoic, which was very, 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 very good. They went through a lot of things I didn't know, like the placeholders and how I could change the placeholder to the same one as the one above. And Azoic would automatically choose which one works the best. And we also did some stuff sorting out my site with the amount of ads that were on it because it was obscene. And I think that is kind of the reason that I have lost traffic this month because I think loading times may have gone up and also bounce rate may have gone up. And they did actually say on the call that my bounce rate has been steadily increasing since I've implemented Ezoic into my site. So they're going to help me reorganize my ads and my website and all that type of stuff to basically get a better engagement rate and a lower bounce rate and still have Ezoic and still keep earning. Moving forward with this site, I'm pretty much only doing the news and plugin deals articles right now and I'm no indexing them to Google because it's thin content and I don't want Google to look at that thin content and be like, oh, his site's becoming a spam, spam site right now. The main reason I'm focusing in on this content is because it's bringing in a fair few more sales and it means I can do a weekly newsletter of all the free deals as well as all the deals kind of like merged into one. This gets extra money with the decreased amount of visitors to my site so I'm trying to work on really converting the traffic I already have rather than going for keywords endlessly and just endlessly writing blog posts. Also moving forward with this site, I'm going to try and take it away from the affiliate earning type thing. I'm going to keep the blog there and all that type of stuff, but I'm really, really, really dedicated to putting in a shop section this month and I'm going to get around to designing that and basically finishing up all a load of free products that I'm going to give for emails. These are going to act as lead magnets and the last one I posted on Reddit got 2,000 emails on one post. So with a couple of free products, I think we can get at least a 50,000 email list completely free, all organically from Reddit, maybe with a few account bans. Other than that, Instagram has been going very well. I've been doing the comment strategy every single day. We've broke 400 followers now. It's been bouncing up and down, going to 397, back to 402 all last week so we've finally broken that 400 barrier it's staying there and we're still increasing followers i'm still doing the comment strategy so i'm looking through people's comments who are active and then clicking on those profiles i think would want to see the content that i make commenting under their profile on one of their pictures something very valuable or nice or something like that then they click over to my profile and they might follow or they might not it's a very slow process i've watched a lot of videos on youtube that say 10,000 instagram followers in two months and honestly man i don't know how they do that because it, that, that is just not working for me. Either way, I'm happy with the minimal amount of growth. I need to keep my head down and stop getting shiny object syndrome because I literally just got shiny object syndrome this morning. So I'm going to get on with today, push this video out to you guys, and I'm going to work on these products because that is the only thing that matters to me right now. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe down there for more updates. And I will be releasing a few more videos next week and a few more tutorial based videos as well. So I got some plans for that. Uh, if you do wanna know anything out of my simple brain, then let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching yet again, another video of me babbling on about what I'm gonna be doing in my business. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.